Just 10 kilometers outside of Clarence, the jewel of the Eastern Free State, lies a piece of land that is enveloped by perfection and passion. It is the dwelling of a woman called Lucy and her four-legged companions. When I was about 12 years old, um, my parents was all on a holiday overseas and I came up real close with one of my aunt's horses there and I think that's the first time I really became aware of, of horses. When, I got, when we got back to South Africa, about five years later, um, my dad wanted to treat me. I'd done well at school and um, he asked me if there was something that would make me like, real happy. And uh, so I said a horse, and I don't really know where it came from. I guess it started from from the first time I saw it at my aunt's, and um, he found us a horse in the lump of the plot, and it happened to be a saddle horse. What's what's pretty obvious about me if you meet me for the first time is. Um, that I have a passionate love of horses and um, sometimes it's about horses themselves, other times it's about the many diverse horse related projects. Um, these are the things I talk about first because they're close to my heart, it, uh, whether it's horse art or um, breeding or showing, um, just being with horses. Lucy regularly visits Kentucky in the USA. She has a good friend that lives there called Joan Hamilton. Joan has been a saddle horse breeder for many years. When we went to Kalorama, um, people up there were South African friends with us and they asked to see war image and I had looked at this horse and war image. And that was, that was well after he'd won his world championship. And so when when I got to know him, he was this absolutely unique individual. Joan said uh, she, uh, she'd always dreamt that it would be great for him to come and spend his twilight years in South Africa. And so um, I thought about it. And six months later, when I visited Kalorama, Joan and I spoke about bringing War Image back to South Africa. And um, it's I can't really explain, it's just something that happened. And she asked me whether it was important to me that we still be able to breed with them. And I thought maybe half a minute, and then I said, no, that wasn't critical. I did hope in my heart of hearts that we could breed something back home. And um, so we brought him out to South Africa. It was only days after he came out of quarantine that we um, showed him a Bloemfontein and he just knew it was his moment and he'd come back home and he trotted out and became the South African Grand Champion Stallion at 21 years old and that's a grand age for any horse. parents met each other at art school and all of us kids have got a creative streak in us. Um, I've never done a sculpture before but I knew I could do it and I was going to do it. I met up with a friend, uh, Dow Bloomberg, a horse sculptor in the States and I spent the first two days at his studio where he just helped me to set up the, the basic frame for this life-size sculpture. And then he packed me off with the frame and with the horse and with the clay to Kalorama Farms where I was staying. And I sculpted this horse in, in the bedroom. Having worked with him um, back home for more than a year before I started on the sculpture, 
I could actually feel him in my hands as I worked. And um, as the clay took shape, I just really felt that War Image and I were in this bedroom in Kalorama Farms as I was sculpting along uh, any hour of the day or night, just as, you know, just as the mood took me. From there, uh, one um, sends it to a mould maker and eventually it's cast in bronze and it's called a, a, a reduction, a wax reduction method where initially from, from the clay horse they produce a wax horse and then eventually a mould around the wax horse and they melt out the wax and in this mould uh, the bronze is then formed. Pieces all arrived at the studio and um, Dal helped me weld probably about 12 pieces together to make up this horse as he was supposed to be. They went on with the patination, which is a chemical colouring process. It is achieved when applying chemicals with heat to the copper. When Lucy visited the US again later that year, they completed the sculpture by welding the roses that she made to the bronze. It forms a wreath around his neck that fills the space between his shoulder and the water. The bronze arrived shortly before the opening of Image County. It was built into the feature the same week as the grand opening. Doing this bronze sculpture was probably one of the greatest experiences in my life. And that's why, you know, people ask me, am I going to do another sculpture? And one day I will, but for the right reasons and just because, just because I want to and just because it's a passion. Ladies and gentlemen, very welcome here to Image County, um, a magnificent facility that Lucy Nones has put together. Everybody knows Lucy. When she starts a project, it's never a simple undertaking. She took it upon herself to, to uh, plan and finish this bronze behind me herself. I will ask uh, Lucy's Mother, Mrs. Joan Owens, to, uh, to unveil this fantastic bronze for us. This uh, immortalizes War Image really in his uh, new home. He has been such an inspiration to so many people. War Image achieved everything that you can achieve. A three gated, five gated, fine harness, uh, even uh, in hand, in hand glasses. Red Y, from Johan Kotze from Batuli. In 1997, he was exported to America, bought by Elizabeth Garth. In 2000, uh, Larry Hodge showed him in Kentucky at the World Championships, and he added during that show both a, a World Grand Champion Stallion title and a Reserve World Grand Champion five graded title. Instead of just sneaking him into the country and, and having him retire a year in this magnificent Free State stable, in 2007, he joined in the Grand Stallion class at Bloemfontein's National Championships and at uh, 21 years old he added yet another title of uh, Grand Champion Stallion. We decided to have War Image officially open Image County. Um, we made a wreath of red roses uh, which, which he bought in, he, he wore them on his neck. And then I invited Joan over from Kentucky. And she removed the wreath from War Image and put it around the sculpture. And then it was lights, water, all the special effects, and that was the official opening of Image County. At the same time, they introduced French Legionnaire, a son of War Image. Lucy imported him as the main stud sire. 
He came to South Africa to continue what War Image started, to produce top quality saddle horses that, like him, would follow in the champion grand sire's footsteps. French legionnaires symbolically led the people into the barn to continue the legacy. When I was back in America, uh, I saw a son of war image, French legionnaire, and he'd, he'd been bred to a mayor in the States, herself uh, a five-time world champion, my Chanel, and from that the name French legionnaire, uh, legionnaire, the war of war image, and then the French from my Chanel. And so we bought out the stallion and we we believed that it would be a way to, to extend this war image legacy but I think he's just surprised everybody, even in the short space of two years. He's bred some unbelievable foals. In, the, in his very first season, we had 16 foals, uh, of which only two were shown at the South African Championships, and one of them stepped out to be the champion Colton Hand. Uh, this year, uh, we showed only one foal of his, um, a young filly by the name of something French, and she stood up and won the Philly class. Uh, besides that, she won the Futurity, which is a special breeding program in South Africa. Um, she won that. So in terms of breeding, he's proved himself, yes, with babies. Uh, these horses later on have to go, go out and perform. So um, we're very optimistic about the babies. The first ones are already almost two years old, and we're excited about what we see. French Legionnaire was shown at Bloemfontein in 2009, shortly after arriving from the States. Together with professional trainer Martin Pinar, he won the three-gated novice championship stake. Lucy built Image County to retire, and the aim was to settle with a few horses by her side to show and enjoy. She hired Brett Oerlifier as a trainer and estate manager and together they started working French Legionnaire.
know, I think if one's passionate about something, things just happen. Animal and natural, animal and natural, animal and natural. 